Hi everyone, come join me on this exciting trip on Emirates First Class A380 from San Francisco to Dubai, Dubai to Casablanca. I'll show you all the reasons why this is my favorite first class in the world, from tips and tricks, how to book, in addition, all the food and beverage offerings. From vintage Dom Perignon 2013, to a super large bathroom spa, which also has a shower. I mean, just having a shower on a plane, it's insane. And there's a secret bar all the way in back. It is gorgeous. Let's get the trip going. San Francisco, Emirates first class check-in, going to first class counter. For both couples and singles, I highly recommend row two. Emirates has a lounge at San Francisco located between gates A3 and A6 with great views of the airplane. It's a decent liquor selection and also food selection. Tip number one, avoid any heavy eating or drinking in the lounge as the food on airplane is so much better. Selection is much better than in the lounge. Most of the time it's opposite. The lounge have way better food. However, for the Emirates Lounge, I think the food is not as good as actually on the plane. So do us all a favor, skip the food at the lounge. And the good part is you get board the plane through the lounge with this jet bridge so you don't have to walk to any gates. As we board it, make a left and the purser will help guide you through to your seat. The first class is not full. You can sit in one and they'll make a bed on the other seat adjacent. The seat has so much going on. There's a little mini bar, there's a little snack basket, a vanity mirror, super large screen. One of my favorite things are the orchids. In addition, you got three large windows. Well, let's take a look around. Starting with the mini bar, you have your different choices of water, sparkling or still. You also have a snack basket, which they take away during takeoff and landing. Here's a vanity mirror and also a notepad with a pen. There's an entertainment controller, in addition to adjusting your seat. You also have window adjustments to the bottom right. To operate the air nozzle, twist the vent to turn it on and off. So don't push that little plate open, it won't budge. Amazing headphones and the plug goes into the seat to the side. To the left hand side of the seat, there's the sweet door controls. You can turn, open it and close it. The windows also have opening and lowering shades. All right, let's get ready. Change in pajamas, ready to take off. This is taking off from San Francisco, one of my favorite airports to take off. The views are just spectacular. One of my favorite parts about Emirates First Class A380s are the little starlights. These are little lights, both on the floor and also in the ceiling. One of the reasons why Emirates First Class is awesome, their humongous bathroom. And that's a shower. Which our airline has a shower. You get you get five minutes to spend on there. Huge mirror. They have everything you need. That's a toilet. It's covered. They give you all the amenities you can ask for. Well, let's explore. Next to the laboratory, there's a self-serving bar. Other reason Emirates First Class is awesome, let's go through the menu. Starting with Champagne, Dom Perignon 2013. The notable whites on this flight include Louis Latour and also Lafitte. For the reds, the notable ones are the Opus 1 2011, which is smooth. Here's the dessert one options. There's also a section of mocktails, coffee, tea, and also cocktails. If you're a huge scotch, whiskey, or cognac drinker, Emirates First Class has the best selection of out of any airlines I've seen. 
they have Hennessy Pure D, which retails a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars per bottle, and also they have Tesseron. And learning from flight attendant, she recommended the Russian standard Imperial vodka with any caviar dish, and I recommend that to you too. Let's get the party started. So here's the food, caviar, juice, breakfast options. And appetizer options. And apologize for bad focusing, but the main course includes sticky braised beef, grilled chicken with lemon and herbs, Dungeness crab cakes, basil nudie, and a visual biryani. Here are the dessert options, addition of light bites, movie snacks. You can pretty much order anything you want at any time. In case you're wondering how to open a tray table, push that button, it'll pop up automatically. I started my meal with the Louis Latour. I also asked the flight attendant for the Lafitte for comparison. One of my favorite parts about Emirates is that they have a great collection of wine. It's a great way to taste different wines if you're really busy and don't have time to go out to purchase it. In this case, the Latour is a great burgundy I would not buy. The Lafitte was a little too acidic for me. A proper table setup. For fans of caviar, you'll know what that is. It's a mother of pearl spoon. That way it doesn't disturb the taste of caviar. Here's a caviar dish with all the sides. The mousse bouche. The mousse bouche com comprised of mozzarella and tomato, super light and refreshing, and a beef and melon that was delicious. Next up is a corn soup with queso. Really, really good. I love it. Next up is a turmeric shrimp. Spicy, fresh, fantastic. Great balance of acid with the sweet cabbage and spiciness. I'm gonna try some reds, Opus 1, 2011. Delicious, smooth, fruit forward, and a subdued oak. I would definitely buy this. Next up are Dungeness Crab Cakes. Lots of crab, minimal fillers. Just wish there was a little bit more crunch to it. For dessert, have fruit, coffee, something light, and also Hennessy Pear D. Gotta have it. One of the tips for Emirates A380 is that there's a bar behind business class. So from first class, go all the way back to business class and they'll bring the liquor of your choice from first class over. And let's get ready to go to sleep. Here's a bed set up, nice and wide and comfortable. Other reason I love Emirates are these night lights when you go to sleep. After about five hours of sleep, time for a quick snack, coffee, smoothie, shrimp cocktail and also had their basil nudie for the showers you'll reserve the time you like to take a shower before takeoff with the flight attendant then you'll have five minutes to use a shower and it's plenty of water and time after the shower got dressed ready for landing in dubai after landing went to emirates first class lounge it is huge it is a large corridor look at this all the way down in its entire first class. So I went to grab some breakfast. Got a berry smoothie, a little bit too sweet, a bread basket, eggs, mushrooms, and also a superfood mixture. Breakfast is okay. And then time to go explore the lounge a little bit, some waiting area, you can relax, do some work, gorgeous glass work. Here we go, trip number two. Dubai to Casablanca, triple seven next door, and that's the A380 painted in blue. Let's start the morning off right with some Dom. My liver hates me. And the layout is pretty much the same as the prior flight. Start the morning with breakfast, and here's a menu, Dom again. In addition to the whites are a little bit different than the prior flight, so that's why the wine menu does change. Wasn't as excited for this set of wines, but the Chateau Neuf de Pepe was my favorite. Again, dessert wines, same as the prior one. 
And here's a food menu for this flight. Again, caviar serve, breakfast options. So I started with the Chateau Neuf. That spoke to me out of all the wines. It's actually really delicious. I enjoyed it. For this flight, the mousse bouche was a chicken lollipop and also tomato mozzarella salad. The chicken lollipop was cold, tangy, and okay. Texture's a little too soft. Tomato salad was delicious. It's gorgeous. All right, we got a caviar again. Gave me two types. Delicious again. Went with something lighter with a salad. The dressing was phenomenal. The tomato soup was tasty, but middle road. There was no milk and cream, which I loved. It wasn't heavy, but a great basil taste. So I had to do a taste test between a Hensi and Paradis and also a Tesseron. Tesseron is a lot more bold, a lot more character. The Paradis is a lot smoother and softer. And I went with the vegetable tartare. Uh, it didn't work that well. It was almost hummus-like, but the taste was just off. I had a seafood kingfish dish. It was delicious, scallops were well done. The lobster was slightly overdone, but I loved it. And I had to go with their dessert, which is a grape tart, fruit forward, maybe a tad too sweet for my own taste, but it was really good overall. So we finally arrived at Casablanca. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If it helped you with your next travel, click and subscribe. For the cost of this trip, Redemption One Way was 155,000 points through Emirates system. I transferred to Chase, but also pay cash one way was 9,000 US dollars. Enjoy your next travel.